Exciting field for race set number seven up to the 1800 metres. Here is a class three contest with 11 of them going to post. Headed by Derby entrant California 10 for Tony Cruz and Zach Purton. Two starts. This is his third search and he gets up in trip as well. Charity Fund doesn't have a Derby entry but would like one. Danny Shum and Karis Teton absolutely blew them away at Happy Valley last time out. London Hall, a three time course and distance winner. Arrogant was a good run behind uh, Charity Fund last time. Beaten four and a half lengths with an £11 turnaround. Vinci ran in that race as well. He gets £12 now off Charity Fund. Looking great. Uh, with a beaten favourite two starts back. Improved run last time. All ran third to stimulation. And Flying Mighty also coming out of the Charity Fund race with a £12 turnaround for a six and three quarter length beat. California 10, Champion Supreme, Arrogant and Awe, Mark, are the horses that have been up at Chung Fa. See the run Charity Fun gets here. He is going to be up outside of them. He had the perfect trip at Happy Valley. Everything that could have gone right for him there did. Looking great's going to lead. World Famous goes forward. Arrogant fourth. London Hall, California 10 race wired last time. Better run and hopefully some more luck for him in the lane. Or then another, li another line of three, Champion Supreme. Back to the 1800 metres. He'll be at the tail pool. A third start here for California 10 and just a nice quiet piece from him. He seems to have improved and coming up to 1,800 metres now for him for the first time. His other two starts have been over 1,600, so it looks ideal. He's a son of Rock of Gibraltar. Uh, Charity Fun, here's the horse that uh, was very impressive at Happy Valley last time. Had some closest to us in the white saddlecloth. Uh, Regency Master is running in this meeting as well, so he's, he's going well and obviously looking for the derby. And the other one we're going to have a, a look at here is World Famous. Now, uh, Toy Coon's also racing at this meeting as well, but World Famous, he's there, he's uh, 288, so he's the one in the black saddlecloth on the inside, likely leader in the race. OK, we'll have a look at World Famous in action in a moment. We'll start off, though, with our likely favourite charity fund on the back of that huge success at uh, Happy Valley. Again, it's back to track work with Ed and Karis Teton. Charity fan Karis, gee, that was an easy win last time. Yeah, he's a lovely horse. Uh, of course, he had the race run and suited. Everything went well for him. Uh, from the draw, we, we, we just got, got into a beautiful seat and you know, it opened up nicely and he won, he won pretty easy. Uh, so he's, he's a lovely horse and, and it looks like uh, you know, he's got a bright future. What do you make of his hopes for the weekend coming to Shah Tim also coming back in distance to 1800? Yeah, of course he come back uh, in the 1800, but it should be no problem. Uh, I think I think you know the happy valley, the shot in track sh should suit him even I would think even better because it's a bigger track where he can be more comfortable. Um, you know, it's it's gonna be different because he's had bought his run at uh, at Happy Valley now. Uh, he's got an awkward draw to deal with, but I think he's good enough for the race. I read a quote from Danny Shum where he said the owner said to him. We need the horse to win by as far as possible to get his rating up to get into the derby. Does that affect you riding, knowing that you're not only riding to win, but you're riding to win by as far as you can win by? Yeah, well, last time, of course, uh, as the only instruction the owner said is like, you know, just you have to win as far as you can. And turning for home, I looked at the big TV, I was already falling clear. I was like, well, I can't win more than that. So, um, while he, of course, they are trying to get to get him get his rating up so he could go to the derby. I think he. If he does uh, get the rating, I think he deserves his chance. Um, I think he, he will be very competitive. And as you know, you've been in Hong Kong for quite a while now. A lot of these Northern Hemisphere types of horses can take time to settle in, but he's hit the ground running. Is he a horse with a, a good future here? Yeah, you think so. Uh, of course, he surprised all of us first time out when he ran. Uh, normally, they, they, they would take a few runs before they get going. But, you know, of course, his first run was impressive and how he's improved from his last start, I think, There'll be a lot of improvement already. You could hear it in Karis's voice then, Mark. In usual set of instructions, win as far as you can. They want to get his handicap up. Uh, that owner couldn't have asked for that to pan out better. He never had to leave the rail. The leader's rolled off at the turn and he shot through. He's won very easily, Paul, and he's obviously a very nice horse. And the fairy house form is standing right up. Yeah, no, look, they, they'll be trying to win as far as they can, obviously, because obviously the aim is the derby. Mm. He's, still, he's, still, he's only got a mark of 78 at the moment, so he needs to win again and win impressively if he's um, going to get in. But I'd have to pay as well. Above, or Vinci and Flying Mighty. Uh, Paul, what are these? I like it. Above and or. I thought these two uh, horses hit the line strongly over 2,000. And both can run nicely back to 1,800. Uh, Vinci's a non-winner, isn't he? He'll chase a couple home. And uh, Flying Mighty wasn't a bad run from him either. This is uh, Above's best performance in Class 3 last time. He hits the lead here and in the end, uh, stimulation will run him down against the inside. He won with Joe on him two starts ago. 1,800, he's racing well. He's certainly in the top three.
Yeah, flying mighty. Got his second win there, but I was a little bit disappointed with him at Happy Valley last time out. Final one to take a check on, Mark, is world famous back at the trials. It's Silver Express leading for home and Uncle Steve, who we'll see in the last race today. 1,800 metres, or tomorrow to be exact, uh, 1,800 metres is perfect for him. He's had four goes at the trip for a win and a second. He ran sixth behind Savaquin at the Valley last time, beaten two and a half lengths. And from Barry number two, Paul, found a spot for him in the top four. Yeah, I did as well. I think this is his go. Eight 1,800 metres from the front and um, catch me if you can. So uh, stepping up to 1,800 looks ideal, as you said. All right, OK. Silver Express we'll talk about again in a moment uh, or so. Charity Fund, probably no surprises, Paul. He's the favourite. Yeah, uh, look, I've got him on top. But they'll, be, they'll be trying to win as far as they can. Um, or win, win is probably the first uh, thing and then try and win by as far as you can because you'd want at least a 10-point hike, I think. I think he can win though, so he's on top, uh, well famous in there for second, uh, or I think he's on the improve and above uh, just in there on the minor line with Joe on, so two, four, ten and eight. Charity fun also to go back to back, it was just an awesome win last time despite the fact it was perfect for him the way things have panned out. Two on top, number eight above to run second, Marira and Millard, 12 times they've combined, four wins between them. London Hall's in for third, we haven't seen him since February, his last two all weather and at Happy Valley. His previous two at uh, Sha Tin, 1800 and 2000. He's a three time track and distance winner. Ruin Meyer takes the ride and world famous. Two, eight, three, and four. I'll go against the favourite here. California 10. I thought it was a really tough run um, last time out. Like to think that 20 to 1 will hold up. It probably won't.